my uh, journey to mental health recovery, I must say it's not easy. It's far from it. And, you know, I come off to a lot of people as a shady character that they don't want to be around. But, you know, it's just, <laughs> I'm just a lone wolf looking for his back. And, you know, a lot of people present that to me. You know, I, I like the welcoming feeling. I wear a lot of things are, you know, just happening all at once for me right now. And it's just not, it's not easy, but. I will overcome, I've overcome in the past, so I'm confident that I'm gonna overcome again today, and I'm gonna overcome again tomorrow, and I'm gonna overcome again next year, and I'm gonna overcome till the day that I leave this planet, which could be tomorrow, the next second, next year, whatever. But I am an overcomer, you know? I went to boot camp for the United States Marines, attempted my childhood dream. Guess the fuck what? I get our speed. When I got our speed, I felt, oh man, I don't deserve to live in this country. I failed my country because I couldn't serve my country in the best possible way, which is to become a United States Marine. And I say those words, I say those words because that's all I ever thought I was gonna become. I see seen boxing here and there, but everyone was telling me, oh, you're gonna get brain damage and whatnot. And I looked at the Marine Corps, I said, okay, this is another hardcore path where I can find my own in my own path <clears throat> getting sent home wasn't easy you know i tried different stints i even moved to australia to construction a bit construction work all that stuff to find my way but one thing i learned throughout all of this is that i gotta put god first in my life i don't want to say we because everyone's journey in this world is different everyone's journey on this planet is different on how they want to find their way to peace inner peace and tranquility all i must say is i don't have inner peace and tranquility but the reason i'm not taking my own life is because i have faith in the good lord above that he has many great paths many great things coming out for me many more avenues to go many more mountains to climb and reach the top I want to place a blame game on a lot of things. And yes, a lot of outside circumstances did influence my decision making, which shouldn't have, by the way, which I should have had more control over. However, you know, fuck. <laughs> it's just, look, let's put it this way. I'm 25 years old. Normally at 25, a lot of people are accomplishing a lot of things, but out here in America and Australia, the good part about being 25 is you can ha not have your shit together and you can be a normal person. The Philippines, if you're 25 and you don't have your shit together, you're considered a worthless piece of shit. I'm saying this out loud because, you know, that's it's reality. It's reality. They all say, you know, how much your parents sacrificed for you, all that stuff, you know. And, you know, I agree to that to a certain extent. And this is where I agree with Andrew Tate is when it comes to suicide, like if you ask him about suicide, but the first thing that came to my mind, his mind was his parents. And yeah, I see that. I see where he comes from. He, want, he doesn't want to stay in his family name and everything. It doesn't make sense when, you know, we, we look back, look back at the sacrifices they made and we have to emulate it because our path is different. Our parents did grow up in a different generation. That's the reality of it. I was born in 1999. Both my parents were born in the 1950s, 1960s. So a lot of uh, things in life, we clash on a lot of stuff. Saying that we, we don't agree, we don't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. You know, so it's just it's a difficult path. Now I'm homesick. I miss my house in the Philippines. I miss my dogs. I miss my cats. You know, I do miss my friends in Australia. I miss the boxing community. And I, and that's my bad habit is I immerse myself in people who I look at as hardcore dudes. That's, and that's a path that I, I chose to take. And, you know, I learned a lot of life lessons from them. But could I be who they are? No. We're all grown up different environments, different, different, how do you say this? Just different, different. <laughs> their name is their name. My name is Daniel. It's, it's just different. And, you know, this is why, where I believe that. Um, my, my mom named me Daniel for a reason. She wanted to name me Tristan, but you know, my, my grandmother decided uh, that Daniel's a better name. And you know, I see why now, because in the Bible, Daniel was saved from the lion's den. 
And there's so many lion's dens in my life that I have entered that I'm officially out of. Still in a lion's den somewhat, but I have faith in, in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he is going to deliver me from this eventually. And I will, you know, see sunshine and rainbows again. But I'm going to say this. Is it okay to be sad ass? It's a biological reaction in our body. It's, a, it's an emotional response in our body to have it, sadness. So don't beat yourself up when you're feeling these moments. Don't say snap out of it and whatnot. That's for other people to do. Quote unquote losers to do. Quote unquote losers to tell you, you should man up. It's not the reality about that term man up is they're not saying that to help you guys. They're saying that to make themselves feel better about their own insecurities. So they're putting it up on you. Now, um, I'm not one for religion or whatnot. In fact, I used to hate the Bible. I still disagree with it on some parts. And, you know, I was watching a, a sermon this morning about about fucking <laughs> Palm Sunday. I didn't want to watch the whole 54 minute video, man. So I fast forwarded it to the end and the pastor was screaming something around the lines of you want to, you keep thinking about your own personal needs. You don't want to put God first. You don't want to put God first over and over. And he just screamed that with passion, anger and all that. And I was like, yeah, he's right. We don't want to put God first. I don't want not for because I fast forward it, but um, it helps me to learn that no Christian's a perfect Christian. Okay, for me, Christianity is my personal way of of looking into the light. Other people see it in other different ways, but my Christianity is my way of seeing the light, seeing what it is to be selfless. Not to, not to be selfish. And a wise man once told me that giving is good, not for your edification, but for God. And I never understood those words then. It's like it's just thinking religion, Catholicism. If you fuck up, you burn in hell for all eternity, all that stuff. That's why I'm like, I, I don't want to listen to that crap. But now I know what he means. You have to be anchored in, in values and whatnot. And Ephesians 6 teaches us that we have to wear the armor and breastplate of God and move in the way that God sees us. Because people just judge because they don't know any better. While well, God loves us unconditionally. And another wise man told me, we do all these things. You want to impress a pretty girl. You want to impress your parents. There's no guarantee that they're going to appreciate your efforts. Because they're always going to want more. Because the more you give, the more you receive, the more you want. That's human nature. But if you give to God, he gives back. And I believe that 100%. And how much have I been giving to God lately? Not so much. But when I turned 25, I turned 25 into Hillsong Church in Waterloo, Waterloo New South Wales, Australia. And that was an eye-opening moment for me that God loves me. And you know, a lot of people are gonna say in the comment section, oh, Hillsong is fake Christianity, it's satanic and whatnot, all the fucking bullshit that you guys wanna spew out just to, you know, promote your bullshit. You know what I mean? Honestly, it's just, in my opinion, it's just not my opinion. It's, it's really fucked up, you know, but I'm not there yet. And I don't think I'll ever quote go be there, but every day I will, I wear the breastplate and armor of God and I love what God sees in me. I don't give a fuck what people tell me. Because I know God loves me unconditionally. God's love is unconditional. Because God is love. So inspiration comes from above, from inside. As I said earlier, we want to impress that pretty girl. We want to impress our parents who are flawed human beings just like us. 
But what happens when you turn to God? God gives back.